Welcome again, this is another episode of Why Jamaica and today we're in a very special place. We're in a gallery in the middle of the hills in Montego Bay. We are at Ras Natango Gallery. Ah, Ras Natango Gallery. And we are here with the beautiful family of Ras Natango, Tamika, Ayala. Just give us a bit of an idea about the family, the place, the gallery, and what is it all about. In a nutshell, it's a place to come and exhale. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to reconnect with nature mm -hmm. and uh, to just be. reconnect with yourself. Just to mm -hmm. be. His philosophy is be. Mm -hmm. Be. It's a place just to be. How did you guys came up with an idea to create this beautiful garden? Mm -hmm. So um, we, we bought it for the view mm -hmm. and we assumed that it was land we know it was a hillside but we thought it was land because mm -hmm. it's a forest with all these trees mm -hmm. but as we started clearing the land we realized a female is gonna come once we started clearing the land that's a female we, we realized that um he didn't buy a bit of land he bought a cliff the place of a cliff <laughs> just a cliff and yeah. I thought that we had just squandered all our money because we couldn't do it we didn't have the money to do anything with the place mm -hmm. and he just said to me when life gives you lemons what do you do Lemonade. and I'm like huh and he says yeah. well life has given us rocks so we make a rock, rock garden, garden out of it. <laughs> and I'm wow. like a rock garden <laughs> It's so, so rock. When, when you say a rock garden, yeah. it's a rock or two rocks, <laughs> not just rocks. It's pure rocks, believe me. When we clear the you land, know? it's covered. So, where did you get the vision to do the garden? I, I had to come up with something. <laughs> I had to figure out something. So, this is the idea that came to me. You know, I, I remember the places in Asia that grew rice on these hillsides yes. by creating these terraces. Mm -hmm. and I thought, hey, I have everything I need. The, stones that are there to build the terraces and the steep hillside so give it a shot what did attract you to specifically this place well, yeah. and it was tough and there was no school you know? for art in portland okay so i used to travel i used to commute from portland to Ocherius or to montego bay with some of my pieces yeah to sell them to the west indian gallery of our our, our gallery yeah or other places ships. or cruise ships when the cruise ship day was in and um i did that this is a female yeah hi girl hi nira oh you're so beautiful hi nira wow look at the 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 um, feather the yeah, white ayali is just green. teaching her ayali is just teaching her to feed from humans so oh. you're her second feeder really <laughs> teaching him to be trusting Fire. of us don't be afraid don't be afraid good she girl she looks up Yay. at you trust you she likes you hi, so yeah, delicate. She see, just come forth to pick over beautiful. You can see the Hi, difference baby. with the male. But um, he moved around and he decided to come to Montego Bay to sell his art. And that's how we got to Montego yeah. Bay. And mm -hmm. it was after doing it for about two years, you know, this commute. It just kind of made sense that we yeah. just, um, we just, I just said to her one day, I said, let's sell the place that we own there in Portland, pack our stuff up. And we gave away all our furniture that we had. We just packed up one suitcase of our clothing and moved here. Wow. The idea of having the garden and the gallery together was initially from the beginning to no. bring no. in um, uh, tourists and visitors over no. here? Just just home. Just mm -hmm. just our so, home. And they, once once he did the terraces, then we didn't have... We couldn't plant any flowers because there's no soil. It's just rocks. Yes. And so we started composting. Composting. Mm -hmm. So we don't burn. We don't, we don't burn. burn oh, anything. okay. Beautiful. So we started composting, and that's how we get our soil. It takes a lot of time, but that's how we get our soil. But um, as the garden came into being, and Ras started painting for Half Moon, and guests would come up to find out where he got well, his inspiration. Well, what happened was one one Saturday morning. I used to do great business because not just the Half Moon, you know, the the real. Yeah, yeah they, I know. they came on board. Four of them still have my artwork in them, along with Half Moon. Mm -hmm. So my artwork ended up in five different major hotels on the island mm -hmm. so guests started coming you know commissioning work from me yeah and so i would do it and take it back to the hotel that they were staying and so but one saturday morning what happened was we heard our dogs barking looked out and there were 14 people at our gate wow they had chartered a bus from the half moon looking for artwork to buy thinking no thinking i had a gallery <clears throat> up here 
and came and um, to buy art. And there was no art, no gallery, nothing. Amazing. I didn't have a piece to sell him. Actually, sold him a piece from all out of our house. Wow. Just, just, just to appease one guy. That's amazing. I sold him a piece. But so that's where the idea evolved. was born. Mm -hmm. So we opened up a gallery and not the garden because I was of the impression that if you advertise a garden, people would come looking for a garden like what you see in the movies or overseas where lawns yeah, and it's all nice, and nice, on flat nice land. so i said no i didn't want people to come and not like what i do so they just come to the gallery but as people would come they would hear the birds mm -hmm. see, the and pathways, see the pathways see the and flowers. ask can we go for a walk they go for a walk and we would say yes be careful and so on and then everybody who walked would come back and say why don't you, Why don't you make it to a tour? Make it a because tour. Should do mm -hmm. And then a couple came here, an elderly couple, and the gentleman, Larry Graham. Yeah, I remember that. He came here with his wife and asked if they could walk. After they bought the paintings, I said, yes. And I was sitting right there, and I noticed he was coming back alone. And I'm like, Shh. I'm like, oh my God, something crying. happened to his wife. You know? He was crying. He and then when I looked closely, this man was, he was really emotional and tears running down his eyes. And Ian was sitting over there. Yeah. And I said to him, are you okay? And he just didn't look at me, went straight to Ian. I'm like, oh my God. So when I saw, I was, I was like, what happened? Wow. Where's his wife? I hope she didn't have a heart attack yeah. over there. You know I mean? <laughs> and like, he just looked, he went over to Ian and he says, um, mm -hmm. I, I don't know why I'm crying. Yeah. What? Something happened to me. And I get it. <laughs> it just says something happened. I don't even know why I'm crying. For the first time, I was able to just let, let everything go. go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just looked at Ian and I said, Look at Ian. Yeah. yeah. yeah just look at Ian that and I said, That was the turning He part. got it. I said, He got it. Yeah. Yeah. He got why I do this garden. And that's mm -hmm. why we opened it. Yes. It's just amazing. And just to, to get the experience here, you really have to come here. It's not enough to just watch the videos. You have to visit here and get the real tour and the real experience. And of course, you were saying that you also offer a whole experience a of whole experience. culinary, so, like you yes. offer food over here food as is, well, yes. and um, art classes yes. as well. And the food is the food is done in a way because the garden, depending on the time of the year, mm -hmm. yeah, we are in a rural community, yeah. and so we embrace members of the community. Mm -hmm. And the food is seasonal, so if there's aki, if it's aki season. We purchase the aki from people in the community. Mm -hmm. When it's Jamaican apple season or mango season, we purchase the fruits from them. So the juices are from natural yeah, we fruits natural juices. that yeah. we have in the, from the community. Mm -hmm. And if you want to learn to cook Jamaican, then we will actually do that with you. Or you're an artist. We have had people who come away, who come to visit, and they are artists as a profession. Yeah. And they brought their own and canvas. Some bring their own canvas. Some come brushes. and they don't have and just yes. go to the garden and would like to and then we just supply them with it. If mm -hmm. you don't if you have never painted before, yeah. you know? so he'll teach the classes as well. Mm -hmm. So the hummingbirds just, um, you don't like grow them here or anything, they just come here because... Well, actually the hummingbirds, when we, when we started the garden, a few came in. Mm -hmm. And then in 2000, may I? Yes, in 2003 we had a hurricane. Mm -hmm. We didn't have plants in pots at the time, just in the garden. And the morning after the hurricane, they were dying. They just fell on the ground, there's nothing to eat. So we had to, we picked up one and I created a little concoction with syrup, strawberry syrup and water. And the smallest one, I just kind of put his beak and I saw the first hummingbird tongue ever. He just took out this long thread thing and he started eating. So all of them, so that's how it started to feed them. And then apparently they just spread the word and tell everybody that some, 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 some yeah, like human being up here feeding, come, come, come on. <laughs> and so they just started feeding. So we have, even though they have the garden, we, we still feed them because in the event of a hurricane. Wow. Yeah. Hi, Nira. Hi, Nira. You recognize him? Yes, that's a female hummingbird. Based on what, the color? Based on her color. But that's I know the black her. And white one? Yes, this, she, her wings are green and her chest is white. Okay. This is a this is an observation area for birds. So people who want to sit here and just, just watch the birds. 
and they see there them. are more birds than the hummingbirds that's coming here yes no my, we have we have 18 of jamaica's 28 endemic birds on the property wow. that you see here and you'll see it's jamaican plants so everything is plants that what that were found in jamaica and you brought them here or something all right some of the some of the plants one of oh everything that it's it's very very deliberate for instance these are crotons mm -hmm. these yeah and crotons are considered to be flowers that you find in a cemetery and i have a lot of them here yeah. yes and um, what the the, the the origin of crotons in jamaica or in the caribbean was comes back from the time of slavery mm -hmm. when the plantation owners used to plant crotons to decorate their homes but when a slave died there was never a marker for the grave and so family members of the, 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 the departed slave would break a piece of the croton and wherever the head of the slave was they would put a croton there so any great house that you go around in Jamaica and you see random crotons all over the property a slave is there so based on that I brought crotons into my garden because I want my ancestors to be in this garden so there are no known slaves buried here but every one of these croton is a celebration of the life of the people who made it possible for me to own a piece of land in Jamaica so as we as we come through the garden you'll see these are growing on the rocks mm -hmm. so we had to find plants that thrive on the rock there's a bloom and they don't need that much soil no soil at all oh, oh i love the color if you like go a little closer to us yes that's some more mature ones not as not wow. fully open as it just coming up beautiful what's the name of this one it's a minnow and lace bromeliad and bromeliads the only the roots only anchor the plants so you can put them on rocks you don't need soil at all so these are on rocks this is a part of our history it's called a pitcher it was our first refrigerator so ice was here sawdust in here it was covered and then this is where we would get the water the plumbing so we have little things like that and you assume it's made out of metal right? metal it is metal it's thin so we the garden takes you through it's, a, it's really beautiful not because i say so but i hope you will <laughs> Hope you will like it. It's huge as well. Like it's a lot of it that you have to see, and this is a natural cliff. So wherever there was a ledge, like you notice, there's a ledge. That's what determined where he would put a wall. So he put that wall on top of this ledge here, and we have um, petunias and the coleus, and that's a wishing well. Oh, beautiful! So this is one of the places where we bring in religion. And talk about how wishes became what or water became involved in religion when jesus had said to the people when the water is troubled that is when miracles take place so wishing wells came about as you have to toss a coin in so the water is troubled to make a wish and we use this for giving back we are in the middle of a rural community so our business is always giving back to people who live with us, live in our community, whether by working or helping. Mm -hmm. But the wishing well is specifically twice per year. When we have guests, we harvest the coins, clean them, go to the bank, get notes. And no matter how much you get, whether it's $10,000 Jamaican or $100 Jamaican, we find a different person every time and give it to them because we are integrated in the community. We know who needs it, whether it's for a shoe, the dentist or school books. The things that we have through, these are little things you can look for from our culture. These were from great houses. When they had their big parties, they used to cook in these things over the open wood fire. But after... That's a huge Dutch pan? Yes. Well, after, <laughs> this is a small one. After slavery was abolished and it was over, then the people who owned animals like pigs, they would cook the food for the pigs in here. So that's a part of our history. But when you come up here, the view changes everywhere you go in the garden. What we're seeing is Montego Bay. That's the city of Montego Bay. And if you come a little further, you can see the ocean straight across. Wow. The 
amazing and now this is the spot where you can sit and just enjoy the view this is one little spot for that this is an area when we do weddings after the when it's the rain has stopped with clean and we, we do weddings wow. yeah we do weddings but this was when we were just doing destination weddings with just the bride and the groom and two persons mm -hmm. as it started growing bigger we start that's where we start doing it now so we bring the chairs in for people to sit and so on but all of that stuff's gone on hold so where did you get all of your knowledge in like botanical flowers and overall garden well russ as he used to paint paint for the hotel the hotel wanted flowers so he he started his love affair with flowers and then I started liking the flowers he painted. So I started looking through books. I have a lot of encyclopedias before the internet. Now that the internet is here, most of the evening my time is studying about them, their beneficial, their benefits and so on. 